today we are learning how to classify quadrilaterals based on their sides. Let's say you were asked to label these quadrilaterals as either a kite, a trapezoid, or a parallelogram. Well, this decision will have to do with the number of parallel lines each has. Remember that parallel lines are lines moving in the exact same direction. If they were to continue forever, they would never touch each other. Now, parallel lines can look a couple different ways. They could be on an angle, they could be straight up and down, but regardless, all parallel lines move in the exact same direction to each other. We often show these with an arrow on each line, showing that they're moving in the same direction. Now, parallel lines are the opposite of not parallel lines, which might look like this or like this. They're lines that will or are already crossing over. So now let's look at these three shapes. We'll start with shape A. We can see that these two sides are parallel. They're moving in the same direction. We can also see these two sides are moving in the same direction, so they're parallel to each other. We would say that shape A has two sets of parallel sides. But what about shape B? Well, shape B, we can see the top and bottom sides are moving in the exact same direction. They're parallel but there are no other parallel sides. So shape B has one set of parallel sides. What about shape C? Well, shape C, there are zero sets of parallel sides. None of the sides are parallel to each other. Now that we've decided how many sets of parallel sides each shape has, we can start naming them. When a shape has two sets of parallel sides, it is called a parallelogram. If a shape has only one set of parallel sides, it's called a trapezoid. Now, when a shape has zero sets of parallel sides, we have to ask ourselves a second question. We start looking at the side lengths. We can see in shape C that these two sides are the same length. We can also see these two sides are the same length as each other. So we would say shape C has two sets of equal length sides. And if a shape has both zero sets of parallel sides and two sets of equal length sides, then it is a kite. Now let's practice one of these together. Is this a parallelogram, trapezoid, or kite? Well, first we can ask ourselves, these two lines, are they parallel? Yes, these two lines are parallel. They move in the same direction. Are there any other parallel sides on this shape? You can see these two sides are also parallel to each other. So this shape has two sets of parallel sides. What type of shape has two sets of parallel sides? Two sets of parallel sides is a parallelogram. Here's another one to practice with. Is this a parallelogram, trapezoid, or kite? Well, how many sets of parallel sides do th does this shape have? You can see the top and the bottom are parallel. They move in the same direction but no other sides are. So this shape has only one set of parallel sides. What is the name of a shape that has one set of parallel sides? We call it a trapezoid. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Is this a parallelogram, trapezoid, or kite? On this shape, these two sides are parallel, and these two sides are also parallel. Two sets of parallel sides means this is a parallelogram. Now here's your last problem for this video. Is this a parallelogram, trapezoid, or kite? When you look at this shape, you see it has zero sets of parallel sides. But remember, before you can call it a kite, you have to ask one more question. You have to look at the side lengths. Well, you can see on this shape that these two sides are the same length, and these two sides are the same length. So this shape has two sets of equal length sides. And a shape with zero sets of parallel sides, but two sets of equal length sides, is called a kite. Today you learned how to identify quadrilaterals based on their sides.